So we got a call for a car. The woman says she thinks the transmission's out of it, but the way she described it, it kind of sounds like she's just got one of her wheels off the ground, spinning a little bit. We're gonna head out here and see if we can figure out what's wrong and get her back on the road. There's more to this story though, because she was coming out to rescue someone else, and it's not clear if she found that other person or not, so we may have someone else to find and help. We, uh, we don't know but we'll let you know as soon as we know. We got Colby. I'm gonna be doing some night vision for you tonight. All right, we got Colin. Good evening. We got Hafe. It's a little bit cold, but not terrible. So this particular crew was working on their Corvairs in the shop. So when this call came in, I knew exactly who I was gonna take. We'll get them out. So we're out here by the dinosaur tracks. This is a really rough road. I think we just found her. How's it going? Oh, are you ready to pull truck? Yep. Yes, we oh, are. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wouldn't have done this if my husband wasn't on oxygen. And where's he at? Um, I called 911 and they found him because I saw lights over that way. Did you come in this way? No, I came in came that Came in way. that way? Okay. I Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do we got here? This is the problem right here. I don't think it's the transmission. I think she's got a tire off the ground and that's what she could hear. Oh, that's a tiny hole. Yes, this is miserable. Peanut, I love you, but no, no, no. Peanut, not, not time for kisses. Okay, I'm gonna need Hafei, I'm going to need you in this car because okay. there's going to be things. I'm going to need you in neutral and on the brake. Okay. But we've got to get this car pivoted around. Okay. Is that help get you out of this? That's fine. You can I'm taking my blankie, though. Yeah. You can jump in the passenger seat. It's a little freezing. It's a little chilly. I'm just going to drag the back end of this sideways. Let me think here for a second. So you want me to get the front ends coming? I want your wheel to turn th this way. So I want the whole car to just crab walk this way. But stay on the, I don't want the back wheels to spin at all. Okay. So I'm just going to back up nice and slow. Okay. Nice and slow. Perfect. All right. Awesome. So <laughs> we just head up to the top. What's that? Just go up to the top. Are you guys going to pick up her? Yeah, she's getting picked up. Okay. I'll hop in with you. Okay. Here we go. Transmission is okay. Yeah. Just a little high centered and on some sand. Hi, Colby. Bye, Colby. Way. So right now, Hefe and Colin left me that way. 
Matt's still back there. This is my view right now. You jumping in? Yes. Hubcap back on. Just the wire, the wire had come out on some of them. Oh, well, there we go. I finally got them buried. <laughs> That's good. It came off really easy. Okay. All right. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Okay. You guys rock. Okay, you have a awesome. good night. Awesome. All right, that wasn't too bad. We got her found and got her pulled around to where Hefe could drive the car back up to pretty good road. And it turns out her husband, uh, search and rescue, was called out and they found him and he is doing well. So all's well that ends well. Yeah, and we're, we're going home, not unfrozen. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are complaining about how cold it is out there. It's not terrible. Not everybody's a tough guy. It isn't nothing about being tough. Jake and I noticed that the rear window seal on the banana is starting to come apart. That's no good. So we're gonna head over to O'Reilly's real fast, grab some window sauce, get back to the shop and get that fixed. That's how you call them. We got our stuff. Now, what should we go do? Fix it. I think that's a good idea. Now that I took it off, I don't know which goes which. Oh, wow. We're figuring it out. Yeah, you are. They're gonna learn something today. Should that be taken in a positive or a negative way? Positive, for sure. I do not know if this is the right way to do it. I may have just made a huge error. But I was walking by I realized that I had an opportunity to mess this job up for these guys. <laughs> We're gonna start on this side and go that way. I need to make sure that this is the right length right here. And I'm gonna say it's really close to the right length. I don't get it. It might be a problem of the glue setting up too fast. I'm gonna cut this lip off a little bit. And the scissors were never the same again. <laughs> this stuff's horrendous. Yeah. <laughs> no wonder. Okay, give me some tape. Okay, so this just needs to be stuck across there, stuck down, and then stuck down. Well, this will be a blight on the banana till we get a window guy to fix it. <laughs> well, tape. Okay, another piece of tape. <laughs> when you see window guys doing this, they only have like two pieces of blue tape on the window. Well, that's a windshield. That's gluing it in. We're just gluing the trim in. Yeah. And we're doing a terrible job of it. <laughs> Yeah, make sure you're pulling up. Yep. Pull up, snick, yep, Pull beautiful. Up. Okay, <laughs> come back in 45 minutes. So I made a call to myself. The ABS light went off in the Bronco and now it won't let me put my lockers on. So I may have broken something. It'll be such a small job. <laughs> it still drives. It's still spinning and it's still putting load on the passenger. It's not side. popping anymore. Mm -hmm. We're just going to leave it hooked all the way up and pull it out again. that way. Just disconnect the rope. Taking your brow for a walk. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, horsey.
her out. What's your shirt size? <laughs> Extra, I already got one. All right, so I probably should have done this on the trail, but I disconnected the battery on the Bronco, let it reset the whole computer, and my lockers are back up and working. I don't know what happened to them, something with the power braking and whatever. One of those nannies that's on these new vehicles with the computer system that comes with it, and it stopped me from being able to turn on my lockers, but it's all working now, so. I'll let you know if there's any more issues. We got to get back to the shop and work on those Corvairs because they won't work on themselves. Thanks for watching. There's no seat heaters in the banana.